Hello, my name is Kushal and uh, I will be taking you through one of the important subjects of our engineering stream called signals and systems. Well, uh, before going deep into the subject, it is important to know what end objective we will be attaining after completing the subject. And <clears throat> to demonstrate that, I, I need to give you a very simple example. Uh, you must have seen a firecracker bursting in a free space. And if you observe from some distance, uh, you will see that a slight amount of delay has been added to both light and audio signal. Well, if we talk about light signal, uh, that delay we will not be noticing much because uh, the speed of light in uh, free space is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. But if you talk about audio signal, then that uh, delay is quite noticeable. So uh, let me just uh, demonstrate you that incident with the help of a small pictorial representation. So uh, in our case now, uh, the air which is acting as a medium let me just so in the case uh, here air is acting as a, a system for us so let me just represent it so it's a system right now in our case it is air which is getting an input in the form of audio and light signal now what happened is uh, when we are observing this incident from some distance we will be hearing audio signal after certain time maybe uh, that that will be in seconds but the light signal will be coming up in a very short duration so that delay will be in uh, maybe in milliseconds which we can neglect it but the point here which we can notice that system is providing some delay to these two signals so the output <coughs> which we which we will be getting from the systems uh, are the delay form of our input which in this case is the audio here the delay will be in seconds so it is quite noticeable while the light signal delay is in milliseconds so which we may not notice so uh, by the end of this subject we will be in the position to make out that everything around us either it's a it's it's a room or even a cloud or any, anything we can we can make out and we can say that it, it is working as a system so if it is a system then it will need an input it it can be in any form it can be an electrical signal or an audio signal or it can be a noise and if it is taking some input then it will give out some output also it can be in any form so <clears throat> during this course we will be going through the uh, different kind of systems uh, let me write what kind of content what will be the uh, topics we will be discussing in this subject so we will be discussing different types of signals and what kind of operations we can perform on those signals same way we will be studying about systems also so there will be different types of systems 
but uh, here we will be focusing more on linear time invariant system that will be the uh, area of concern for us and uh, how they function for different signals and once we are done with these two topics then we will be moving to transformations uh, various transformations in which we will be um, dealing in Fourier transforms it, it covers for both uh, continuous and discrete signals and then we will be going into discrete domain where we will be dealing in Laplace transform and Z transform Z is for the discrete and the Laplace transform this is for continuous time Laplace so the reason why will be we will be going through these transforms is to know the stability of our system to know whether our system is stable and what kind of response our system will be providing for certain sets of inputs and then finally because uh, <coughs> we will be after going through these uh, topics we will be knowing that every system comprises of some elements uh, mostly capacitor inductors so every capacitor or inductor there will be certain states attached to those elements so finally once we are done with all these things we will be studying on uh, one more topic that is state space analysis so here we will be discussing about the states of different elements like capacitor inductor <coughs> so after the completion of this subject we will be in the position to uh, calculate the different responses of the systems and to know the frequency contents present in the signals and after the uh, it has been processed from the uh, system and uh, whether the system is stable or not so first of all uh, in the beginning we will be uh, going through the types of six signals and the operations that we can perform on those signals and then we will be moving to the systems and further on so this was the introductory part of our subject signals and systems so from next time onwards we will be covering on signals and their operations so that is all for now thank you